Here is another video in my journal of the brain surgery for Meniere's disease called vestibular nerve section. I am updating you kind of on a database basis. Everybody's different and everybody heals differently. So this is the first time since my surgery that we've gone, we're going to the mailbox. See how Dash does. Good job, no easy. Benny? Oh, we need to shut the door. Uh oh, there's no tug on the door. No, that's a problem. There we go. <laughs> it's on the other side. There we go. Okay, come. That's it. That's it. Okay. I'll lean on the side. Benny, watch me. Look. Tug. That's it. You tug it. You tug it. Tug, 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 tug. That's it. That's it. Oh, tug again. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Get the tug. Give it to Kelly. That's it. Get the tug. Get. Oh, hold. Do you need to get it? Now hold, hold, hold. Yes. So it's actually too hard for him to tug it. Um, but it helps me that he shuts it so that I can lean on the wall and then he can for balance and then he can tug it close to my hand. Dashie's having a hard time, but he's doing all right. So I'm not looking at the camera, but as you can see, I am lifting up on my harness and being outside is harder for me uh, vestibularly because there's more input visually. There's more input auditorily. There's more input movement wise. And obviously I am dealing with Dash, but he's doing pretty good. You can tell he's loose, lead it, loose leashing it. It's a little farther forward than I wanna be, but I'm not gonna gripe about it right now. This is a good test of my vestibular system. That's the whole whole point right now of everything. So I have full hands. Good job, Ben. Hold. Yes, good hold. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> My bad. Get the get the hand. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now get the phone. Get the phone. Yeah, the phone. I dropped the phone. Benny, look. Get the mail. That's it. You get it. Good job. Hold. All right. Let's see if I can. We can carry this. Let's see if this works. Hold. Yes. Good job. All right. Wait. Wait. What are you looking at? Heel. Good job, heel. Good job, hold, Benny. This is actually very, very hard for me. Um, so it's a good thing. Uh, easy, easy, easy. Why are you pulling forward? There you go. Oh. <laughs> you turned your head. Okay, Wolf. All right, Wolfie. It's a bird. That's what he's hearing. Ben? Give? Okay. Now... We have to problem solve this. Good job. He knows exactly what I want him to do. This is not an easy task, picking up something so thin off the ground. But you can see he's problem solving. Yeah, you get it. Yes, good job. So he pulled up the side of it with his paw. I'm going to see if I can carry the... I've got it under my armpit. We'll see. Good job, sit. Yes, good sit, Dash. Dash is doing really well, as you can tell. Good hold, Benny. Everybody's doing such a good job. He's very distracted by something. So normally I would have Benny push it. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, okay. Back, back. I'm gonna sit down. Give, yes. Brace, yes, okay. Now push, no, nope. push. Other side, that's it, that's it. Good job, that's it, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. And then I can help him. Oh, yes, you wanna get it from there? Can you get it? I'm gonna try. Get it. That's it. Good job! <laughs> Betty, <laughs> you're so amazing. We'll come back for that stuff. I have a plosive holding on. Well, yes, that was very good. Undress. Yes, good job, Dash. Good job. We have more. We have. <laughs> Is that a happy boy? He says, I brought this. You did. Yes. 
Yes. All right, now mommy needs a nap. <laughs> so I had all these shirts piled up here. And they fell down. So Benny's gonna help me get them. Benny, look. Get it. That's it. Yes. Good job. Look. That's it. Give. Yes. Give. Yes. Good job, Benny. So he thinks this is a fun game. You can see his tail's whacking. Look. Get it. And that's why he does it, because he thinks it's fun. Yes. I would have to get down on the floor, which would be really hard. Yes. Yes. You get it. Give. Look. Get it. That's it. So he's watching my eye line. That's why the when I say look, he's watching where I look. Give. Yes. Look. That's it. Get it. Hold. Give. Good job, Penny. Good work, honey. Good work. Benny loves the rubs. That is one of his you know treats is to be rubbed. He's so very happy. He's so very happy. Good work. There's another service dog. We're in a room waiting. There's another service dog out there. And he is doing great. Ignoring it. Clearly. He knows it's out there. Good boy, leave it. I am really struggling vestibular wise right now. Vertigo is bad. Everything's bad. Watching the sunset. It's all bad. This is all challenging me right now. PT really did a number on me. And it's my own fault because it was what I suggested. I suggested we try to see if I could walk around with Benny. You know, we tried. I went three times around. It was fine while I was walking. Once I sat down, woo! And then it was just a mess after that. We couldn't do anything else. I had to go home. I can't keep talking. Like I have to stop talking. Did like it just? I just I just feel like I should be able to do this in public, and it's just so maddening that I'm not there yet. Maybe we jumped too far, head too far, too fast. It's just a long, long healing journey. I've heard from other people who have had this surgery and it takes them, it's, it takes people a long time to heal. And it's the brain. Of course it takes a long time to heal, but it's still frustrating. I didn't feel like coming out here because of vertigo and I didn't feel like throwing the ball to Benny. It's good for me. It's good for him, obviously. Anyway, ah, just makes me so mad. I want to scream and it's okay. It's okay that I feel mad. Yes, I realize that it takes a long time for me to heal, but like, bleh! I'm talking because I'm frustrated and it's helping me cope, but. Whoa, benevolence! Way to go, buddy! Good job, honey. Are you tired yet? And so, um. I walked away from the chair and I have my iPad on the ground and his harness. I'm gonna put his harness on. Um, this is, this is rough right now. Yes? I, I fight so hard to get better. Everything was just clicking and I was, it was hard, but every day I was, I was doing my recumbent bike. I was increasing by a minute every day. I was doing all my vestibular exercises. I was doing all my physical therapy exercises that are in addition to PT. And the sun is, that is the sun on the bed in front of me. It's why it's purple. I changed a medication. I added a medication and I changed a dose. I've been changing a dose of the medication. I've had such like significant fatigue. My migraines have been worse. It's frustrating to me that I was like on this pace and I was moving and it was still hard that I wasn't where I wanted to be, but at least I was moving. And here I am. The majority of the days I haven't exercised on the Vercomb bike. I went a week without doing my exercises at all, which is so unlike me. Like I told my, my physical therapist this and he looked shocked. I said, no, it's not me. It's not me, <laughs> but me <laughs> couldn't do it. And my mom reminded me, like, sometimes it's two steps forward, one step back. In my head, I thought, in two months, I'll be better. Now I'm realizing that it's, like, more going to be a year from my surgery. I'll be where I thought I was going to be in two months. 
and that's hard that it's a longer journey but I'm on the I'm on the journey like things are going to improve and they are improving it's just slow just not being able to be in a place where I can do the things any of the things that I want to do and I think maybe a, a piece of this that people don't understand because a lot of people will be like oh you know give it time da, da, da. Y'all, I have been disabled for almost 18 years. I have been in bed for almost 18 years. Parts of that, I was not in bed. But a good majority of the time, I've been in bed. So when you're this close to seeing that maybe you won't have to be in bed all the time anymore, you just want to freaking get out of bed. It's not a marathon. It's an Ironman, like for sure. A marathon would have been, you know, three months of recovery. <laughs> And it's not going to be that. It's going to be a lot more. It's it's a flipping hard surgery. And I I wish I had been more prepared for that. I'm a person that likes to know what to expect. And I was not prepared. I was prepared for it to be a long recovery. But nobody told me what long meant. And my thought process of long was, you know, people take a month or two to heal from a craniotomy. Which is my skull being removed and going into the dura mater and going into the brain. It was a vestibular nerve section that nobody prepared me for how long it would take. I really do believe it worked out the way that it should. I was so frustrated that I didn't get this surgery done sooner and it would have been wonderful to have it done sooner, but maybe I would have had complications with those other doctors that I didn't with the, this one. Every single person who has heard my neurosurgeon's name has sung his praises, has said so many positive, incredible things from so many different places, from people who have had him as a surgeon that I randomly happened to happen upon to when I was getting surgery and I was signing in and the surgery liaison said, oh my gosh, he is an amazing surgeon all around. Like not just as a surgeon, but like he just is such a good doctor. And the neurosurgeon is what you want to get it's weird because you don't really have a choice of that. You don't really choose your neurosurgeon. It's your neurotologist that chooses a neurosurgeon. So the fact that my neurotologist chose such an amazing neurosurgeon is, I think, why that part of the surgery went so well. Like, I didn't have complications. I don't have post-occipital headache, which is a huge risk for me. 20% of patients have post-occipital headaches two years post-surgery, and I don't have that right now. I feel insanely thankful. I'm not second-guessing the timing anymore. I think it was just frustrating that for years, this could have been done years ago, six years ago, <laughs> life happened the way it happened, and I was in a different situation then, and it would have been a bad situation to have had this done. This was a perfect timing, perfect situation. Yeah, I, I wish it could have been two years ago, but it would have been with a different doctor and who knows how that would have gone. I feel very, 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 very thankful. The sun is shining. And that is a good thing. I woke up and it wasn't shining and it was hard. Migraine. I'm just not feeling great in general, but it's a journey. And all I have is today. I had this beautiful view. I could just see deer and sunsets and possums and like animals. I get to enjoy my dogs. Like there's so many things I have that I appreciate. I am Kelly. Remember you are not alone. Live incredible. Anyway, bye guys. You are not alone in this world. You are not alone. You are not alone in this world, you are not alone.